Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to dive into the energies of May 2021. We're going to look at the collective energy for May. Uh, May is a universal one energy. So we're going to dive into that, take a closer look at those energies that we may feel collectively And then I'm going to break the energy down for your particular life path number, and that will be labeled um, in the notes and on the thumbnail. So I hope that makes sense. I know a few people were confused on April's uh, forecast, but basically, again, we're just going to start the the podcast off by looking at the collective energies uh, for the, the universal energy, and then we're going to break down your own life path number. Okay, so May 2021 is a 10-1 universal energy. So ultimately, it's a one universal energy. And so what that means is the collective energy of May is that of new starts, fortune, luck, and a turn for the better. (laughs) So this is a great time to express authentic, innovative ideas in a way that allows you to sort of take the reins and take the lead within your own life. You know, do you want a new job? Do you want a new relationship? Is there a new project or experience that you want to have? This is the energy that supports you in the initiation. So go for it. It may not unfold exactly as you plan because there's always sort of a level of surrender involved in life, as we know, but it will bring you exactly what you need for this phase of your journey. So you just need to say yes and get started. So there may be instances this month where you find yourself standing alone, sort of required to make personal decisions. This can feel challenging at times, But it's in this solitude that you'll discover things about yourself and your journey that you, you know, that were previously hidden. So this is a wonderful energy for self-discovery and for standing on your own two feet. This is going to be a time where you could see great rewards surface for efforts you've already expended. Things that felt challenging in the past sort of shift and things begin to calm down enough for you to see more clearly and to gain the confidence needed in order to make those bold new starts that have been calling to you. So you may find that you receive some much needed clarity at this time around a circumstance where there may have been some conflict previously. This clarity will allow you to deal with the situation in a much more elevated way with a deeper understanding. And so that will allow you to move forward much more freely once things are settled. So this is an energy of initiation and change. So if there are areas within your life where a fresh new outlook is needed or a new start is beckoning, this is the month to make your move. Embrace this one energy for all that it has to offer. Okay, life path number nine. So I pulled an animal spirit card for you all to see what the month may potentially hold for you. And you guys got stars, starfish spirit, if I can speak. And starfish says, be open to infinite possibilities. And so what I love about this is you all may get some opportunities this month to experience some of those infinite possibilities. I think sometimes when we're really enmeshed in a situation, um, we become sort of closed-minded to what's possible, and we really restrict ourselves. And I think that the more open-minded that we can be, the more open we can be to uh, the universe and to the flow of things, that, you know, our soul knows that we are, that that we are infinitely capable of things that we are, we are, you know, the possibilities are endless, are capable, again, we are capable of so much more than what we think we are. And so again, I think when the ego gets involved, we really restrict ourselves. So I think this month, you may have some opportunities to think outside the box, think bigger, and just allow yourself to be open to the possibilities of what's possible without automatically discounting or discrediting it because 
you just don't think it's possible based on previous experience, okay? Because the energy is always changing, the experiences are always changing, and so the possibilities are always changing. So just be open as much as possible, especially this month, to those infinite possibilities, and I'll bet you'll be surprised at what comes in for you. So beginning of the month, it's interesting because I broke the, the month down into four weeks. The very first week, there's there's this very clear energy of like you feeling stuck or you feeling like you can't move forward. Maybe you're in a situation that feels dead end, but you don't see any way out of it. And what's interesting is, is the message that I'm getting is like, you may be stuck, but it's because you're keeping yourself stuck. It's kind of like you are keeping yourself confined to a situation and it really feels more mental than anything. So it's like you, it, it almost feels like you continue to self-sabotage yourself. Like a good thing might come up for you and then you give a million reasons why you you don't deserve it or you're not worthy of it or it can't possibly be for you. And so you say no to it out of fear or whatever the case may be. And you continue to keep yourself stuck in that way where you are not open to the infinite possibility. And so I feel like what I'm really getting here is like this message of, I think it's time for a different perspective. This is one of those times where it's like an outside perspective can be worth, you know, it can be priceless. So if you have family or friends who you can just talk through whatever this is, they may be, be they may be able to offer you some insight or if you want to get a reading, you can book some time with me. <laughs> but they might be able to offer you some insight that will offer you a different perspective that helps you break free from this, right? Because again, I don't feel like I don't feel like the universe is holding you back here. I feel like if anything, it's you holding yourself back. Um, again, it's kind of like keeping yourself in sort of that lower vibe energy of victim mode, as opposed to really taking a closer look at all of your options. So again, this is one, this is one of those times where I would say it really helps to talk it out with someone or with some people to get a better perspective, to get a different perspective of the situation, because that's going to help you to, again, find your way out of whatever this is and break free. Second week of the month, we have this energy around really needing to, to pull from your inner strength. So if there's something that, you know, you have been really reactionary towards, or a circumstance comes up where you feel reactionary, this is going to be a time where you need to pull from that inner, str inner strength, push the pause button, and think before you respond. Uh, this can be around any kind of situation, but it feels like it's around like relationships with people. So whether that's work or romantic or whatever, but it's kind of like pull from that inner strength and think before you respond and really think about your word choices, right? Like what kind of energy are you putting out there by your response, right? By, by even by making a comment or something like that, really think about the words that you choose to put out there because words are energy. So I think that's going to come in really, really strongly. And also to be open to those infinite possibilities, because I think you're going to find that some of your greatest treasures that you find this week are found in the most unexpected places, where if you were too restrictive, you wouldn't even think to look there. So it's kind of like if you're if there's if you're searching for an answer about something, be open to where you find the answer, right? Like if you have questions, be open to where the answer comes from. It might come from a very unexpected source, but it brings you a lot of joy or it brings you a lot of clarity. So again, I think that the key theme for nines in May is going to be an open mind, like having an open mind, having an open heart, being open to um, receiving whatever comes in for you and being open to the possibilities. So again, I'm really getting that strongly that second week that those little hidden treasures that you stumble upon, you're going to stumble upon them in the most unexpected places. Or that wisdom that you unlock, you're going to unlock it from the most unexpected people. Which you wouldn't have access to if you were too closed-minded about who you associate with. So again, it's just about that having an open mind and seeing things through a different lens this month. 
The third week, we have this energy around the need for um, a little bit of a little bit more grace. So more grace in your own actions, like giving yourself, cutting yourself some slack when it comes to doing things, not beating yourself up so much, not giving yourself, you know, a double dose of shame when something doesn't work out like you anticipate. Same thing for other people, just understanding that everybody is going through something at some point. So, and we don't always know, right? So it's kind of like, be very mindful this month of how you speak to other people, how you show up, how you treat other people. If there is something that happened in the past that requires your forgiveness, to offer that graciously, um, just understanding that people are doing the best that they can, including yourself. So that that's what I mean when I say like, grace is the word this for this week, is just giving yourself more grace, get, showing up in grace towards others. And yeah, just, just not being so quick to judge, okay? Or so quick to... Uh, condemn somebody, right? Like there's just this energy of grace this month. And I think if you can do that, you will find allies, again, in the most unexpected places, you may meet people and become friends with people who you never would have expected to become friends with in the past. But it's that it's that showing up in that very beautiful humanitarian energy, that so is the core of the nine energy. So if you can do that, I think that you're going to really reap some beautiful rewards this week. The end of the month, there's this, there's definitely this feeling of some things coming to an end or some closure to things, but I feel like it's a good closure. It's kind of like a relief that, you know, maybe you were able to mend some kind of broken relationship. And there's just this feeling of like, even if you're not in that person's life anymore, there's this feeling of relief and release that allows you to look to the future much more optimistically and less burdened. So I definitely get this like very supportive energy at the end of the month that also allows for completion of something. So and that completion is allowing you to look look to the future much again, through a much broader lens without, again, just completely shooting something down the minute it comes in because you don't feel worthy of it. It's like you're looking through uh, just a greater lens that allows you to see the infinite possibilities or at least feel the potential for them. So I just feel like this, this month is going to open you up, nines, to all that's possible and to no longer restrict yourself or deprive yourself of what is possible and what you deserve. And again, whether that's like leaving a relationship that's no longer serving you so that you can open yourself up to something much more aligned um, or and that includes friendships as well, family, whatever, and even how you treat yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you look at what you're worthy of. I feel like that's going to be coming in a lot for you all this month. And I would really embrace this energy and work through it as much as possible. Because where it's leading you is being able to step up and level up in a way where you're much more open to the good that wants to come in for you, right? Everything does not need to be a struggle. And if you felt like things have been a struggle for far too long, I really feel like it's going to come back to your mindset and that's where I'm talking about sometimes it can help to talk to other people to gain a different perspective or a deeper perspective that allows you to open your mind a little bit more and open yourself up to those infinite possibilities. So if you feel stuck this month, then remind yourself of Starfish and remind yourself that the universe is always trying to send you new exciting things. You just need to be open to them. And sometimes when we get stuck, we close ourselves off. That doesn't mean that these things are not going to come to us. They will, but sometimes we prolong that process by being by self-sabotaging, right? By being closed-minded um, or being closed in 
or you're hyper focused on something that's not working. So I just think this is going to be an opportunity this month for you to take a closer look at your mindset, maybe collaborate with some people, you know, draw from that inner strength and really try to work at opening yourself up to all that you're worthy of, which is infinite. Okay. So I hope that May is a beautiful month for you all. I feel like it might be transformative, but I think in a good way that will uh, really help you move forward less inhibited. Okay. So happy May, everyone. And I will see you all again soon. Take care. Bye for now.